I'm in Creo Parametric 4.0 and I have a part here that has a couple of extrudes and rounds on the base of the second extrude. Let's say I want to create a draft feature if this is going to be a molded or cast part. If I go to the draft command and then select the cylindrical surfaces, I can then hold down the right mouse button and choose draft hinges and pick this surface, but I don't have a draft angle to control. If I go to the angles tab, you'll notice it's grayed out over here. If I try to click the check mark, I'm going to get an indication that I have a failed feature. And there you can see that the draft has failed in the model. If I want to create a draft on surfaces that have rounds in Creo Parametric 4.0 and earlier, you have to insert the draft feature before the rounds. So for example, now I can choose to create a draft, select the surfaces, hold down the right mouse button, draft hinges, pick this surface. Now I have my angle that I can control. Let's make it nice and big. Let's use a value of 10. And hit the check mark to complete the draft feature. Now I can drag insert here back down to the bottom and I have the rounds in there. So there was a restriction in Creo Parametric 4.0 and earlier. You could not apply draft to surfaces that had rounds at the top or bottom of the features. Let's take a look now at the improvements that were made in Creo Parametric 5.0. So essentially the same model in Creo Parametric 5.0. This time, if I want to create a draft feature, click on the command. I'm using the control key to select the surfaces that I want to apply draft to. Hold down the right mouse button and from the menu, I can choose my draft hinge. And now you see I do have a control and you can see the preview that comes up. Like before, I can choose a nice big obvious value and then hit the check mark. So in this way, we are able to create draft on surfaces that have rounds on them. And where this really becomes convenient is if you are importing geometry. So I've got an empty part here. Let's use the get data import command. I'm going to grab a step file of the previous model. Let's use OK and hit the check mark. So all I've got here is an import feature. If I was in Creo Parametric 4.0 and earlier, I couldn't use insert here to drag above the round features. And in this case, like before, let's start a draft feature, hold down the control key to select the surfaces, and again, use the right mouse button menu to activate my draft hinges collector. And there we see our preview. Oops, let me grab this one over here. And now let's just leave seven degrees, hit the middle mouse button, and again, now I have draft on an imported feature that has rounds down at the bottom. And again, this is something that you would not have been able to do in Creo Parametric 4.0 and earlier. If you were using imported geometry, most likely what you would end up doing, let me suppress the draft feature, is that first you would go and select the various surfaces, and then use the remove command in order to take that geometry out of the model, then put in the draft, and then recreate the rounds inside of the part. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.